Alive Church in Tucson is honored to provide these daily readings for you as a discipleship tool from our Life Transformation Bible. Find out more at alivechurch.com slash transformation. Our readings this week focus on Heaven is My Home. I rejoice today that my name is written in heaven. The moment I decided to become a follower of Jesus, the direction of my eternal destiny shifted. I became a citizen of heaven. As a citizen of heaven, I will promote the interest of my loving Heavenly Father here on earth because my loyalties are to Him alone. I will live worthy of my citizenship through the power of Christ in me. I rejoice today that my name is written in heaven. It was God's desire that I not spend eternity in hell separated from Him. In fact, it is His desire for all mankind. Hell is the eternal destiny of Satan, his demons, and those who die refusing to put their faith and trust in Jesus. Hell's existence is the result of the irreconcilable differences between the holy nature of God and sin. The only solution to this dilemma is for God to change the nature of my character, and that is what he did by sending his son to the cross, taking my place, and paying the penalty for my sin. The results are that I am made holy in him, and I am a citizen of heaven. Hell is a place of torment, agony, hopelessness, eternal destruction, isolation, and separation from God. However, my home is heaven, God's eternal dwelling place. In heaven there is no more sorrow, no pain, no sickness, no suffering, no fear, no tears, and no more decay. In heaven I will no longer live in need of anything. In heaven I will see all things clearly that I never fully understood here on earth. I rejoice today that my name is written in heaven. When Jesus left this earth, he went to prepare a place for me in heaven where I will one day live with him in the presence of God, our loving Heavenly Father. I yearn for my home in heaven and all the privileges that accompany it. Until then, I will live on this earth as a citizen of heaven by putting God's priorities into practice in my daily life with a focus on the eternal rather than the temporal. After all, God is a God of love, forgiveness, and grace. His desire is that no one spend eternity in the lake of fire, hell, separated from Him. To this end, as a follower of Jesus, a citizen of heaven, I will invest my energy in the eternal destination of others. I rejoice today that my name is written in heaven. Day 5, our topic, Choose Heaven or Hell. It's Matthew seven thirteen and 14, where we begin with Jesus speaking. You can enter God's kingdom only through the narrow gate. The highway to hell is broad, and its gate is wide for the many who choose that way. But the gateway to life is very narrow, and the road is difficult, and only a few ever find it. Luke 16, 19 through 31. Jesus said, There was a certain rich man who was splendidly clothed in purple and fine linen, and who lived each day in luxury. At his gate lay a poor man named Lazarus, who was covered with sores. As Lazarus lay there, longing for scraps from the rich man's table, the dogs would come and lick his open sores. Finally, the poor man died and was carried by the angels to sit beside Abraham at the heavenly banquet. The rich man also died and was buried, and he went to the place of the dead. There, in torment, he saw Abraham in the distance, with Lazarus at his side. The rich man shouted, Father Abraham, have some pity. Send Lazarus over here to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. I am in anguish in these flames. But Abraham said to him, Son, remember that during your lifetime you had everything you wanted, and Lazarus had nothing? So now he is here being comforted, and you are in anguish. And besides, there is a great chasm separating us. No one can cross over to you from here, and no one can cross over to us from there. Then the rich man said, Please, Father Abraham, at least send him to my father's home, for I have five brothers, and I want him to warn them so they don't end up in this place of torment. But Abraham said, Moses and the prophets have warned them. Your brothers can read what they wrote. The rich man replied, No, Father Abraham, but if someone is sent to them from the dead, then they will repent of their sins and turn to God. But Abraham said, If they won't listen to Moses and the prophets, they won't be persuaded even if someone rises from the dead. Proverbs fifteen twenty four, The path of life leads upward for the wise. They leave the grave behind. Luke ten twenty is our memory verse this week. How you doing with it? Jesus said, don't rejoice because evil spirits obey you. 
rejoice because your names are registered in heaven. Every day we provide these readings to help build you up in your faith. Please follow along in your Bible. The Alive Church Life Transformation Bible also includes these readings. If you don't have one of those, let us know. Just email us at office at alivechurch.com. Have a great day and be sure to tell a friend about these daily readings.